Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm showing you how to get an eye lift that is so quick and so easy. It has blown my mind. And I think those of you that have hooded eyes, downturned eyes, deep set eyes, or any kind of age related issues are going to find this technique as helpful as I have, at least I hope you do. And I think one of the best things about it, particularly for those of you with hooded eyes, is that it's not a technique where you're gonna have to worry about covering up your eyeshadow with your eyeliner. So my eyes probably do look a little bit different from each other because I show two different ways to do it. One's a little bit more subtle than the other. I have never seen this technique done before ever in my life. So if you have, leave that for me in the comments below. I basically put my own spin and technique on one that I saw Dunson Krauss do in her Vogue video. I hope I said her name right. Because I have been doing it nearly every day since I saw that video, I had to come share this with you guys. So let me know what you think about it. If you think it looks as easy as it actually is, because it really, really takes me maybe 20 to 30 seconds. Leave me your comments below. If you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and let's get into this. Okay, so this is a slightly different makeup look, but it's the same technique. I have had a hell of a time filming this. The first time I was completely out of focus. The second time my lighting was bad. I think I finally got it. This eye is going to be the more exaggerated eye, even though it's still pretty subtle. And this eye is going to be the less exaggerated eye. I do demo with pencil on this eye and shadow with this eye. You can use either one. So on this eye, I just take a really fine tipped eyeliner like the Bare Minerals One Fine Line. It's only $18. I really like it a lot. For a slightly creamier option, you may want to opt for the Marc Jacobs liner. I do have everything listed down below. I just tight line as usual. This isn't a tight lining technique video. Don't worry, there's more to it than that. So I'm not going to go into a lot of the technique. If you're not familiar with tight lining, if you do have hooded eyes, and you really don't see a lot of your lid space, your eyeliner will not block your eyeshadow that you have going on. To emphasize your lash line, you want your lashes to look thicker, defining your lash line, not your waterline. That's that empty space that's between your lash line and your eyeball. We're not touching that. You can if you want. I just don't usually line that area because it does increase eye dryness. So we're just tight lining. You just take your pencil and kind of buff it, rub it all along your lash line. You can go from underneath the lashes. You can go straight in towards the lash line, almost parallel with your lashes, or you can go from above. Whatever works easiest for you. I kind of do a method of all three here just to show you. So once you're finished with that step, and that's actually a pretty quick process. You don't have to be too precise. If you mess up, all you have to do is take a fine eyeliner brush and just buff along your top lash line. It's really no big deal. You can take a Q-tip and clean it up. And here's where the Vogue technique comes in. At that very last step where she's holding up her eyelashes to have access to the bottom of her lash line, it looks painful, but it's not at all. You do it very gently. She did her flick then, and I've never seen it done that way. I've always seen it done when you're looking straight ahead or when you're looking down. And my spin on this was I used kind of the angle of my lashes where they were going. So I saw that my lashes were kind of just going up like that, and I just took my little flick and went up, maybe about a 45 degree angle, and it worked. It it really just worked to give a little bit of a lift. And once I let everything go and saw where it was going, you can kind of assess the top and see if you need to just even it out a little bit or buff it with a brush, whatever you want to do. So on the other side, I'm showing you the same thing using a slanted brush. And I find tight lining to be a little quicker and a little more gentle on my lash line when I just press and wiggle either a flat or an angled brush against my lash line. So this side goes a lot quicker than the other side did, but they're both very quick. And then in the end, I do the same thing just kind of with the tip of the brush. For example, when I was smudging it into my lash line, the brush was flat like this. But then when I went into that last little flick at the end, I tilted my brush just a little bit to where it was like that because it was so long, I didn't want to accidentally stamp my eyeball. I <laughs> hope that makes sense. You could also use a really tiny 
brush like this one from Sigma. I'll link this too. I'll have everything linked for you down below. And now we can get back to the other video that I started the other day. So now with mascara on this eye, we have the slightly longer technique that we use to get the eye lift. And on this eye, we have the slightly shorter, but they both give uplift to the eye and they're both super quick and super easy. I have been completely enthralled with this technique ever since I saw it. And I probably spent a little bit more time on it today than I normally do it takes me less than 30 seconds I swear to do this and since I've been doing it nearly every day I had to share it with you guys I will link the video where I first saw it the Vogue video in the description box I just thought it was so cool and I thought you guys would too so I wanted to share it with you with my spin on it and see if any of you guys have been doing this or anything like it if you have leave it in the comments for me down below and if you're gonna try it let me know if you want to see more videos that I have on challenging eyes I do have a challenging eye series. If you want to see a certain type of video from me, leave that for me. I love getting ideas from you guys. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.